You want to sit in the chair for me? Go ahead, take a seat. So, uh, how you doing? You doing pretty good? Good, good. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, it's my desk. My desk is too close. It's too close. Oh, wait, there it is. Hold on. Oh, it's not working. Ah, oh, this is the first time I've tested it with someone else. I'm very sad. You try it. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, man. <laughs> that is an unfortunate turn of events. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? You already tried, and then you hit a brick wall. How do you how do you press on? How do you move forward? Uh, <laughs> I, I was actually just talking about this with Munchie because oh yeah, <laughs> made mention about how my uh, status says like rest in peace and whatnot because one of my friends has just recently left this mortal coil. I'm sorry to hear but, about uh, that. Were they close to you? Um. Say so. I knew him for about fifteen years, but he was. He was I would an say older, that's close. Older gentleman. He he was about eighty-five years old. So. He, How did you meet his, them? His life. Oh, uh, through playing World of Warships. Oh really? <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Were you playing together? Uh, that sounds like a fun story. Anyway, you were saying. You asked me about how you move forward. I kind of don't. I know I say when my dad passed away, my mom passed away too, because she stopped doing anything. But, in a sense, I've stopped doing things too. I can see how it would be hard to move past the death of a loved one that's so close. He passed away while I was still in high school. It's more than a decade. It's weird being able to start measuring time in decades, right? Yeah, yeah. I hey. never thought I would make it. I never thought I would make it to the big three zero, you know? Oh, no? You thought you'd leave before yeah. then, or you thought uh, some other planet was in yeah. store for you? Isn't life inherently more interesting than death? We, we <laughs> experience death every day when we go to sleep. Le petit mot? The little sleep? One of my favorite poems from the Romantic Era was uh, a line from it was, I'm paraphrasing here, but when I'm away, don't worry about it. Consider it practice for when I'm dead. <laughs> and I thought that was so uh, simplistic and bleak. I guess, I don't know. I thought it stuck with me I mean, though. I forget who wrote also, it. That's also kind of not a good way to look at it either, because <laughs> right, well, they're gonna come back, <laughs> and then right? they're never going to come back. Yeah, and it's gonna fuck with you in a completely different way. That was a beautiful story. Thank you for sharing it with me. Right. That's all life is—is is our stories, um, isn't it? Yeah. You know, there's a guy on YouTube. His name is. Uh, I think it's Aziel or Az Azizel or something like that. But he he, he kind of does stuff like that where he he lets people tell their story and like he records it and like it it's kind of like an interview, but it's more so the person talking than him asking questions. Yeah. And the stories that people have told is like it's so insane. There was a person that he. Uh, I, I say interviewed lightly uh, that he was an American who went to go fight as a militia fighter in Iraq with the Kurds and the, the story he told was fucking insane and then uh, there's another story of this person who was um there were intersex and basically the medical how the medical field completely betrayed them and failed them because being someone who's intersex and 
if you don't know, being intersex means you have both sets of genitalia at birth. Being intersex that way, no one wants to help you because no one wants to admit that such a thing exists. And like, older, like the older generation of medical professionals are kind of like, they don't want to deal with it because, you know, back in that day wasn't something that was necessarily talked about. I love the anti-grav. That's great. Ow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it really hurt. <laughs> what a world. What a world we live in. It's everything. All things at once. It's the everything. Everything, everywhere, all at once. That's right. And we go through our lives thinking that we're not a part of it, but we are. And it's beautiful. Because if we weren't, then we wouldn't be. <laughs> And those sorts of live, things. Live your life to the fullest, for tomorrow is never promised. Plato, Socrates, Socrates. <laughs> Beef oven. <laughs> the taller <dollar> dude. <laughs> and Genghis Khan beats up a sports store in a mall in San Dimas, California. I've been derailed. What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Some heavy shit. Which soccer game was it that they did the fucking didgeridoos and they wound up banning them because they were so obnoxious? No, they weren't didgeridoos. Those were just like horns. And they were just... Everyone had one. They were... Everyone had one. They were so cheap to make... And everybody had one. They were just giving them out. And it resonated. It was awful. It was the worst thing ever. Ricocheted through your body. Oh, yeah. It was so goddamn loud that they fucking banned them. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't seen them since. They're like, no. No. We're going to take you out back and beat the shit out of you. You try to bring that in here. <laughs> bring that. You bring that knife, the gun, the self-defense. We understand that. But that horn fucking stays here. Oh, God. They sell them on Amazon. Of course they do. <clears throat> Why wouldn't they? I you bet they're... <laughs> I bet their sales went down. Uvuzela, South African style collapsible horn, red, pack of six, 40 bucks. 40 bucks? I remember my day, Pudgy you get a pack of four or something for less than 40 bucks. Pudgy Pedro's plastic Vuvuzela stadium horn, 26 inches, 599. Then, ah, here, here's a nonsensical question. If you had sex with a identical replica clone of yourself, would it be considered gay? No, it'd be masturbation. It'd be self said. <laughs> These are very unique circumstances. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what I said. <laughs> what do you say? Eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> yeah, way too much weed. <laughs> Whatever, whatever point you remember to pick up on, just go from there. I'm, I, I 
think I was telling him like about the dude that I watch on YouTube, but I feel it sounds like familiar. At that point, at this point, maybe. This is a very, very <laughs> awkward episode of Jinx Spot at night. <laughs> Jinx Bot at night. Sorry, <laughs> Is that the Jinx name of the Bot. show? I think so. Okay. Jinx Bot at night. <laughs> is it Jinx Bot at night or is it late night with Jinx Bot? I don't remember. I don't we think I've Huntar. used... We need Huntar. I invited him. He said he's doing something better than us. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair... It's not hard to do better than us. <laughs> Come hang out. <laughs> We're cool. Uh, we deserve love. I mean, I feel I like think, I should tell my life story at this point, but <laughs> I, I feel like that's a little too... Uh, we need content. For, for <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the line that George Carlin says? I don't remember. Oh, I know he didn't like golf courses. Oh, yeah. He didn't like a lot of things. He was a very opinionated person. Oh, I, I loved Carlin. He was, <laughs> he, he was good. He, he even had a, he had a soft side because he narrated for Thomas the Tank Engine. He did. He did. And he did a wonderful job. Uh huh. They he oh, he, so he and Ringo. Carlin listed them. He and Ringo were, were were never side by side, or do they have like? Do Ringo just take over for him? Or uh, no, Carlin first, and Carlin yeah. took over. Yeah. He just took over. Did they have any? Who were like, oh, it's just me now. No, it was always just one and one. All right, because, bummer. So they didn't they didn't have what we had with Shining Time Station. That's how we were introduced to Thomas in the U.S. Okay. But in, in the U.K., they didn't have anything like that. So that's why Thomas and the Magic Railroad was so confusing because they used Shining Time Station. But um. Oh, Ringo. No, uh, uh, <laughs> Ringo did it first and he he did all the english narrations for both like the u.s australia and england it was great it was but, great uh, <laughs> the way the way it was explained in the u.s because we had shining time station was because as you know ringo was mr conductor mm -hmm. and they said he had to go away to do some kind of business or whatever so his cousin which was Ringo, uh, was uh, George Carlin, was going to be taking over. And they were like, Mr. Conductor is leaving, but we have Mr. Conductor. It's like, okay, that's not confusing at all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the, word, the, the, the seven dirty words in order that Carlin listed them are shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Tits. <laughs> Why is tits the apex there? Well, I mean, it was back in the 70s. Tits. Ah. Yeah. At the time, the words were considered highly inappropriate and unsuitable for broadcast on public airwaves in the United States, whether radio or television. As such, they were avoided in scripted material and bleep censored in the rare cases in which they were used. You can't say tits on TV. You just can't. Wikipedia, I don't care about you. I'm not giving you money. Oh, I want to give Wikipedia money. <laughs> Are you gonna? No. no. But I want to. <laughs> You should. I know. I should. I should. Are you gonna? Um, well, I might. <laughs> I may. Are you gonna? Maybe. Probably not.
I might though. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to say no. <laughs> They're like the date that paid for dinner. We're like, oh, paid for dinner. Do I get a smooch at the door? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner was lovely. Good night. <laughs> we all just want to date Wikipedia. We <laughs> we don't want to marry Wikipedia. Oh, I remember what I was talking about earlier. I was talking about Azil and like his stories that he tells. Oh yeah. Other people. Well. The other people tell the stories. And you just wow, full and fucking them. circle. <laughs> <laughs> right. We we did it. <laughs> we got back. But um, I uh, I actually applied to be on his little program, but I never heard anything. So uh... you have to apply. Yeah, you have to fill out a Google form. Why? Well, I mean, you get so many people. I mean, just to, like, do a direct DM, you'd have so many DMs. I can't, I can't even fathom having to sort through that many DMs. It is a foreign concept I mean, to me. I mean, imagine... Imagine Oops. getting thousands upon thousands of DMs of people wanting to tell their story to you. Thousands? Or have people listen to your story. Do, yeah. do that many people want to tell their stories? Oh, yeah. There's, people are always wanting to tell their stories. And for me, it's not a thing of like looking for pity or anything like that. It's just... I would like to tell my story so people know, because it's more of a thing of, I want people to know my story so I'm not forgotten, because one of my biggest fears is, you know, being forgotten and being alone. You're not alone. <clears throat> You're not alone. You're not alone. I mean... Virtually, I'm not alone. Yeah. Hey. That's more than a lot of people get. You're not alone. Oh. Eh. <laughs> you keep picking up the cup. No, <laughs> no. Get out of here. <laughs> You're not alone. And that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm not alone with you, too. No. Oh, of course. I could go for some cookies. It's getting it's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> what it's kind of cookies? Oreos, Chips Ahoy, oh, oh. Keebler. My folks oh my god. I okay. I'm a little they, they went overboard when they shouldn't have, and they gave us a big box of like these sweets, cookies and shit. Right. Popcorn, and I'm like you really should have. You really should have done that. I'm, we're gonna have to eat this now. So I've been eating these chocolate-covered cookies. Ugh, it's too. Oh, the chocolate-covered cookies are the best. Yes, the shortbread. You know what I'm talking about? Uh huh. Uh, oh, I love shortbread cookies. Oh yeah. Uh. uh give me, give me some. <laughs> Chestnut, I'm happy. <laughs> or even oh, talking about Pepperidge Farm, fucking Milano's. Or oh, the Milano is oh. is the piste de resistance for the Pepperidge Farm cookie. cookie. But you know what's really of the century when it comes it was, to Pepperidge Farm was really underrated. Truthfully, is the Brussels from Pepperidge Farm. Oh, oh my god, okay. It's a, a wafer cookie. It is circular. And it's sandwiched this 
chocolate and caramel layer right here is very good. It's very tasty. It's, it's crunchy, a little chewy. It's very nice. I like how it's called the Brussel and you went with a French accent when I'm pretty sure <laughs> Brussels is an Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yeah, I like to make the pastry. <laughs> it does not matter where I'm from. I like to make the Brussels. This is very nice. It's a good cookie. I like it. <laughs> oh, Brussels is in Belgium. Never mind. I'm fucking stupid. I said Austria. Belgium. You're right with the French accent. Not, not even. No. They're all bad. <laughs> French is not an appropriate accent in France. Don't have a French accent in France. <laughs> They'll stone you. Really? It happened to me once. What? You uh, you you should stay up for longer. No, I can't. No, Christmas is coming soon. I have to sleep more so I can get up early. Wait, who is coming? What? Christmas. Oh, Christmas is on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I've got to, but I've got to prepare. <laughs> I've got to get some sleep. In early, so it won't be a big deal. <laughs> Trust me. It's the only way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I've got some stuff to do before I go to sleep, so I have to go to bed. So I have to go. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to finish my story another time then. Yes. Part two coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> Sorry, my knees are going through the table. It's not a very good table. Yeah. You, you, you you have a spot over the years because of the way your your knees point upwards because the chair is too low. It, over time, you eventually dug a hole in the thing, and now that's just where your knee sits. Just worn through. You're becoming a part of the furniture. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, good night. That, that, that's like the people <laughs> no. say they're uh, melting <laughs> into the couch. No. <laughs> that, is, that is what they say. Where'd I go? What just happened? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay. Ow. <laughs> I have to go. Rose, thank you. Thank you for your company. You're amazing. Thank you.